Welcome aboard. We are the McGurran family. We went from this to this, our new floating home. We're on a journey to sail around the world with not much sailing experience. We've met some fantastic people along the way. Been on some crazy adventures. Looking forward to exploring what else is out there. Come join us. Morning. We are, well, I've just come out of the back of my first night watch in six months. You know, we've been in the Caribbean, we've been day sailing, we haven't been doing any overnight passages, and of course, with lockdown, you're in lockdown. Uh, you can't sail anywhere. It's um, been quite difficult doing the first night sail after six months. I'm knackered. Mind you, it's beautiful this time of day. It is quarter to six in the morning. The sun is just ready to burst to the top of the horizon. Uh, we, of course, are on our way to St. Thomas. Uh, due to collect some visas uh, or visa waivers and uh, start making our way back to the US. What a long journey this is going to be. But it is nice to be on the water. It's so beautifully calm, not a soul. There's not much wind. As you can see, the sails are struggling just to billow. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a nice morning. So I finally worked out what that smell was. It's been bugging me for a few days. And I come down here and my batteries are melted, steaming. It is roasting in the generator room. Very lucky it didn't catch fire. Obviously I've got to move out because these are quite poisonous toxins, gases. But lucky, it didn't catch fire. Okay, so we are in port at the moment. We're in St. Thomas in a place called the Grand Haven, sorry, Yacht Haven Grand Marina. Um, it's a nice marina, but I don't think we're going to be staying here. We have to get our insurance on the case. Uh, I've managed to speak to some engineers, multi-tech, uh, from the island who I need to get orders, uh, batteries ordered from Florida, which take kind of a week. Um, so real problem, real dilemma really. Uh, I need to extend my time on a berth. So I need to pay for a berth that I'm not going to use because the boat's dead. I've got no battery power, no, no, can't even flush a loo or a toilet. Um, I need to hire a car to get to our accommodation at some sort of B&B or villa somewhere. And of course I need to pay for these batteries and I need to pay for everyone to come along and fix them. So it's gonna be a very expensive job. I need to start writing to my insurance company to see if they can do something, help me up here. But um, this is a this is what you call expensive boating. So, uh, uh, and also I don't know how long it's gonna take. It could take kind of two weeks, three weeks. I've gotta get out of here. I've gotta start heading north to South Carolina before the hurricanes really set in because it can get a, really windy here there's lots of boats already on the um, kind of washed up on the beaches here from hurricane Irma in 2017 so um, this is not the place you want to be in a hurricane
happy to get off the boat. It'll be a break for a little bit and I'll enjoy it. <laughs> I'm gonna flush the toilet twice just because I can. <laughs> I'm very happy to get off the boat. I'm excited for some chlorine swimming, not seawater, though I'll be looking forward to seawater after. I'm looking forward to washing my hair every single night, having a shower every single night, not worrying about the water. You're a big princess. <laughs> <laughs> the boat is black. <laughs> we have no um, loos, no showers, um, and the showers here, because of COVID, everything's closed. So they don't have public showers, they don't have their normal facilities open. Um, all of my fridges are, are down, so um, we need to find somewhere to go. I've managed to find an Airbnb. Um, most things are closed at the moment because of COVID, but this one has allowed me to book until the first so obviously everything opens here again on the first and they've allowed it because we've already checked in and had our health checks done. So um, we are going to go and check into an Airbnb and hope that the pool is nice and we can have the luxury of some uh, hotel sheets. Um, but it's been a year since I've slept on land. So it's gonna be weird. <laughs> This time air conditioning. Ooh. Air conditioning won't buy room, he's big bad big TV. <laughs> What do you reckon, Becky? Glass? Grass? It has been one hot day on recipe with no batteries. It's so gorgeous. Look at the kitchen. Down and on anchor, we've not been allowed out. Um, we'll take a before and after picture. I'm looking quite normal now. Afterwards, I'll be the colour of a beetroot. So we are in the best place possible to do some exercise. Finally, get off the boat and get a bit of the old beer belly burnt off. Um, we are in a kind of compound closure, so it's got kind of 24-hour security, which is great and a uh, very safe place to run not too many cars not too much traffic so let's get to it
sweaty beach. It's really weird running around here. It must be like a packed family. I can imagine when the girls were tiny, Colin and I would have loved this place. Entertainment, the beach, everything is like set out for young families. But there's nobody here. <laughs> it is just us running around. And there's music playing and it's like they're ready for everybody and all the furniture's set out, but there's no one here. <laughs> we'll see some zombies coming around the corner in a minute. It's very well kept though, isn't it? It's stunning. Look at all the flowers. Flowers oh, nice and red and beetroot colour. I think, are you starting to go beetroot? Oh yeah, well I'm, I always go beetroot. <laughs> Come on. The only other soul we found is green. <laughs> I'm gonna go jump in the pool. Well, this is bliss. <laughs> we feel a little bit guilty that we've left our sailing buddies on anchor in this heat. It is hot, like 35, 36 degrees Celsius. And um, we're normally with these buddy boats guy on our way to South Carolina, of course, with our failure of batteries, etc. We've had to leave the boat and, as you know, get a little apartment. So we're enjoying this cool water and air conditioning and flushing loose. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is send these guys a WhatsApp so come and join us. Come and use the pool and watch a movie in the air conditioning. Should we go invite our friends? again we have on the menu tonight for our friends we have some barbecue chicken with barbecue sauce we have kebabs of um, nice beef with some peppers and courgettes and then barbecue grilled yeah, barbecue grilled broccoli Oh my god, he just fell forward. Did he land on his feet or what? His face or? Thanks for watching everyone. Join us next week as we start to enjoy our new home. We can't believe we get kicked out and we have to find a new one. See you then. <laughs>